And now? Um. Well. So. There comes a time in every professional's life when he or she must admit that he or she, and this is just a scenario off the top of my head, slept with uh, $80,000 worth of prostitutes and must resign as governor of New York. Now, obviously, that was just hypothetical, and it certainly doesn't involve me. But I must admit that I, too, have made some mistakes. Nothing like that. Nothing of that caliber. But I did make a mistake um, a couple weeks ago when I reviewed Funny Games, which I called Funny Games US, because IMDB listed it as Funny Games US, and I even double-checked my sources, and everywhere it was listed as Funny Games US. And I knew that that was irrational, and I knew that it was wrong, but I reviewed it that way anyway, and I'm so, so sorry. And I hate to admit that I was wrong, although you know that in this case I wasn't really wrong, IMDB was actually wrong, and the rest of the internet sources that I checked were apparently also wrong. And I know that I should have checked another source other than the internet, except what is there besides the internet these days? That's the problem with getting a second source, kids. Anyway, so it's not really called Funny Games US or Funny Games Us or Funny Games parentheses US. It's just Funny Games. And even though, like, a majority of the actors are British, I guess it was made in the US or it's being released in the US. Or at this point, it's been released in the US. Anyway, sorry guys, it's just funny games. And it doesn't look very funny anyway. It's the movie review.